Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm a member of the customer care team at Simulations Plus. This is a short video on Gastro Plus 10, also known as GPX. In this video, we will be updating an existing Gastro Plus installation to GPX. For other videos and written documentation on licensing, installation, and troubleshooting, contact support at simulationsplus.com. This video is for customers who already have Gastro Plus licenses and are already using Gastro Plus versions 9.9 .9 and earlier. Many of the actions on this video require administrator privileges on the target machines. The video is directed at a licensing contact person in your company who knows how and where he wants to install the software and has the administrator privileges to perform the installation. Here are the steps we will go through. Downloading the installation kit, updating a standalone installation, and updating a network installation. For both, for both standalone and network installations, we will be updating only the end user's application. We will not be updating the Flexera license server. GPX will use your existing Gastro Plus licenses and your existing Flexera license server. GPX is distributed with Flexera version 11.19. If you're using Flexera 11.12, 11.15, or another version that you got from us or from one of the other 1,500 vendors who use Flexera for licensing, we recommend that you keep your current Flexera setup as it is for now so you can get GPX up and running quickly. Later, we can help you update your Flexera version if you would like. For those who have used our installers before to install the Flexera license server, Note that the demonstrations in this video do not require Java. The Gastro Plus application and Flexera license server do not require Java. Only Flexera's LM admin installer needs Java. And since we are only installing the Gastro Plus application today, Java is not required. There is no need to uninstall any previous versions of Gastro Plus. Many of our customers leave multiple versions on their machines in case they have to reproduce old results exactly. If you want to create an installation package for your company software portal, please request our documentation for guidance on this. Let's go right into downloading the installation kit. The licensing contact person at your company will have a login to the Gastro Plus folders on our share file site already. If you need additional access, please email support. If your company or agency has blocked access to share file, please contact support for alternative download instructions. The download folder for Gastro Plus 10 is shown here. The large zip file is the installation kit. There are additional files which may be helpful. Right click on the large zip file and choose download. The installation zip is all that is needed to update the end user's machine, whether standalone or network. Download it directly to the end user's machine or download it elsewhere and copy it to the end user's machine. Here we downloaded it to the downloads folder. Extract all the files from the zip. You can extract them to a new folder right in the downloads folder. After the files are extracted, we'll be interested in this setup executable in just a moment. Note that if you had downloaded all the files in this folder, ShareFile would have put these in a zip as well. In that case, you'd want to do two unzips, once to unzip the ShareFile zip, and then once to unzip our install kit. Do not try to install from inside of our zip. Let's update a standalone installation. In a standalone installation, the license server and the Gastro Plus application are both on the same machine or virtual machine. Standalone installations are most common for short-term evaluation licenses and occasionally for small companies and small work groups. This standalone machine has several versions of Gastro Plus installed. Stop any versions of Gastro Plus that are running on the standalone machine. On the standalone machine, where you have extracted the files from our installation zip, navigate to Setup EXE and run it as administrator. Select Gastro Plus 10.1. 
the installer will install some prerequisites before installing GPX. The prerequisites shown here are the Access Database Engine, which is used by GPX to import legacy projects from older versions of Gastro Plus, and the Visual C++ Runtime Library, a library of Microsoft functions used by GPX. Click Install. Click Next. If you agree with the licensing agreement, click Yes. Choose Standalone for this standalone installation. You don't need the host ID because Flexair is already installed, your license file is already installed, and your host ID is already known. So you can skip this. Most users will take advantage of the default locations for the software. Click Install. At the completion of the installation, click Finish. The GPX icon should now appear on your desktop. Double click the icon to start GPX as a regular user, not an administrator. GPX should check out an existing Gastro Plus license and start normally. This completes the update to GPX on a standalone installation. Let's update a network installation. In a network installation, the license server is on a shared server or virtual machine, and the Gastro Plus application is on a separate end user machine or virtual machine. Most of our customers use network installations because this allows you to share your licenses between multiple users. As we saw earlier, download the installation zip to the end user's machine and extract the contents to a new folder. This end user machine has several versions of Gastro Plus installed. Stop any versions of Gastro Plus that are running on the end user's machine. On the end user's machine, where you have extracted the files from our installation zip, navigate to setup and run it as administrator. Select Gastro Plus 10.1. Gastro Plus Installer will install a number of prerequisites before installing Gastro Plus itself. These are the Access Database Engine, which GPX uses to import legacy projects from older versions of Gastro, and the Visual C++ Runtime Library. Both of these are Microsoft modules that are embedded in the GPX Installer. Click Install. Now the installation of GPX will begin. Click Next. If you agree with the licensing agreement, click Yes. This is a network installation that we're updating, so click Network and then Next. Most users will take advantage of the default locations for the software. Click Next. And again, Next. And click Install. At the completion of the installation, click Finish. The GPX icon should now show up on the end user's desktop. Double click the GPX icon to start the program as a regular user, not as an administrator. GPX should check out an existing Gastro Plus license and start normally. This completes the updating of an end user's machine to GPX in a network installation environment. For licensing, installation, and troubleshooting, email us at support at simulations-plus.com. Visit our website at www.simulations-plus.com. And visit our resource center for more videos, for tutorials, white papers, posters, and other useful materials at www.simulations-plus.com backslash resource dash center. Thank you for joining us.